Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. Hello, 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 thank you for joining me. Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're joining me from. How are you guys doing? Good evening. My name is Ayotzi, and you're watching Ego Striker Live. It's been a while. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for joining me. I see all of you. Please let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're watching from. Thank you, Ridwan. Thank you. I see you. Watching from afar. Oh, wow. Okay, so two minutes, Peter Olayinka just scored. I, I should be watching the game, but I need to talk about this with you guys. But Peter Olayinka just scored. Shout out to Peter Olayinka. Get Peter Olayinka's merch on our website, egostragamerch.com. Okay, so yes, um, I want to talk about Tolu Aroko Dare to FC Cologne. Um, from Kano, thank you, thank you very much. Joining us, Yusuf Mohammed from Kano. Luis Organa, thank you, I see you, respect. Congrats on the win, congrats on the win. Next round, I don't know, have they done the draws yet? Who are you guys facing? Read one is watching from Lagos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so guys, in one second, I'm going to start taking requests um, to hear from you guys what you think about Tulu Aroko Dari, what you think about the move, um, what you think about, you know, his potential and what you think is going to happen for him in Germany um, this season. Let the Lord be with these in the UK. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us from the uk okay so i'm going to take a request now Giovanni is in milan this is she is in lagos how's the weather in lagos thank you for joining us for planets thank you hello 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 can we see you please hello good afternoon hello good afternoon good afternoon yes please can we see you please Hello, can you hear me? Can we see you? Yes, I can hear you, but I can't see you. I don't like when I don't like when people start off the day like this now. Why is the first person doing like that? Shout out to Ifai Ifai from Uzbekistan, Bola. You're playing a team in Slovenia. Oh, that might be a tough one. Hope to see Tolu in Cologne one day. Are you in her teams? Are you in Cologne? If you are, then I mean, when they let fans into the stadium, all you have to do is go to the game. Go to the game with your Nigerian flag, wave your big Nigerian flag. I'm sure he'll notice you. YAN Taxan is in Atlanta. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so yes, Tolu Rukudari, 19 year old striker. Just joined FC Cologne in the German Bundesliga um, from Valmera FC in Latvia. Very interesting move, I, I believe. Um, it's a loan move, um, so it's not a permanent transfer, at least not yet. Um, I think it's an opportunity for him to go show himself and, you know, bang in a lot of goals in Germany. And then, of course, if, he's, if he scores a lot of goals in Germany, there's no way he's not going to get a move after that. Um, but... I'm really happy about the transfer, mostly because um, it's like a new route that Nigerian footballers are taking now. I'm going to Latvia. Um, we have like, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 players in Latvia right now. And, you know, um, a lot of people have been talking about it. Why Latvia? Why Latvia? You know, is Latvia good? You know, how is the football in Latvia? You know, and just to see that someone like Tolu that moved to Latvia last year in June, um, June 2019, um, is already, you know, on the verge of a big transfer. He's going on loan, but after that, you never know what's going to happen. So it just shows that the Latvia route is actually something that is, you know, that, that has potential. So the people that moved in that direction, they didn't necessarily make the wrong move, you know. How much was it? It's a loan move. It's a loan move for the season. I hope they give him playing time. Um, yeah, I hope they give him playing time. Um, for them to sign him um, at, at all, 
it means that they they see that he's good they see what he can do you know they they see his potential um so we hope that they will give him a chance to show himself i believe that they'll give him a chance um, and hopefully it's something that the player has discussed them um, or his team has discussed with the club, you know, in negotiations and all that stuff, you know. Hello, Christian Michael. Hello, the Papi. Hello. Someone said he probably will. Cologne isn't good. <laughs> Why are you brushing the team? Cologne is a, is a pretty good team, to be honest. Cologne is a pretty good team. One thing I always tell Nigerian fans is that if if you want to judge um, teams that are good based on Man U, Chelsea, Barca, Real Madrid, then I mean they are only about we only have maybe I mean nobody in a good team or one player in a good team. If that's how you want to judge it, you know you say okay, then only Galo is in a good team, you know. So ultimately, that's not how you can judge um, clubs, you know. And so I always just tell people I don't. Don't talk about um, clubs like that. Trust me. And again, one thing I always say, you say all these things are not good until they face your team and they beat you. Then you realize. Hey, Hello. Bro, bro what's Hello. up? Good, good evening. Day. How's it going? Yeah, it's going well. How is everything? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Thank you for joining that us. <laughs> that was a good one, though. I've been seeing the great work you guys have been doing. We really appreciate you guys from afar as well. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate you as well, you know. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, just a quick one. But I think this guy knew more. Well, to me, I really, I celebrate him. It's a big one. A big step, you know. It shows that no matter where you are, if people will see you, they'll definitely see you and appreciate you. You understand? Yeah. And that's something don't know that... about the same. Yeah, I can hear you, bro. No, I was saying that's something that we always tell players, you know. If you are good and you are doing your thing, no, like, you might not you might not realize it, but people are paying attention and they are noticing you. Exactly. And eventually, your opportunity will come. The most important, when you're destiny, want to change your thing and just change it. Yeah. It's a bigger platform. Yeah. But to me, all I would say, I wish him well. You just have to keep the focus and keep the target. Mm. It's a new challenge. It's a difficult one. You understand? From the stage to the bigger stage. But one thing we normally say as footballers, we go out as possible and we add work. You get? Yeah, of course. So, joining your life, you just appreciate the great work you guys have been doing. Thank I really you. appreciate the way you're pushing us forward. And so, may God keep blessing you for that. Thank you very much. I appreciate you in a special way as well. Thank you. Let me let me ask you a question before you go. All right. So um you tell us a little bit about your last game. I mean it ended fourth three. Man, 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 <laughs> man, man, man. This game is just like um it's part of an adventure, you know. That is why you have to believe in football, anything can happen. Mm. You know, even the stadium is getting, even the people there watching is already pissed off. They want to leave and all those things. So, for me, coming back to score two goals under four minutes, man. Even we ourselves, we just believe it will happen. Amazing. You get Because you have a lot of clear chances to hit the target, but it's not coming. You know, when you work and work and nothing is working, you just think, ah, at least we'll give up so we don't lose this game. But all thanks to God for the strength and for the belief to fight to the end. So now we just have two more targets to hit to get Excellent. to the group stage. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, we'll be supporting you. Hopefully, you'll be able to get there so that we see you guys, you know, playing against the, the big boys, you know. That's the prayer. That's the vibe, man. That's the, but you yeah. guys are really doing a great job. You guys are really doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. I appreciate you all, as always. I really appreciate you. Have Thanks, guys. Night. And you too. Bye, bro. All right, guys, that was Luis Ghana for Ararat. Armenia calling in from Armenia. Thank you. All right, anybody else wants to give their opinion? We're still discussing to Laruko Dari to um, FC Cologne. You know, we're just talking about the move, um, the potential for him, the potential for, for the club for FC Cologne, you know, because they are also signing a very good player, you know. Um, so what do you think Cologne is going to get out of him? 
Thank you, official my man, Kalu Samo. Thank you, Samo Kalu. Spot that rash with the yes, rash match coming soon. Don't worry, guys. Okay. So Tolu Arukudare was also, if you don't know, was also named was also named the rookie of the season in our first ever Ego Striker Awards. So that's why this is also interesting to me, you know, because um it was something that he was scoring too many goals that you just couldn't ignore him, you know. And for a young striker playing in his first full season, you know, in Europe or really anywhere, um, it was just, you know, too much to ignore. Um, one thing that I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty certain of is that if not for maybe this coronavirus situation, maybe Cologne would have, would have, would have taken the permanent move, you know, but I mean, for anybody, to be fair, for anybody at all to get a move, you know, in this market, it means that you're a good player and the club really trusts you because clubs are not just signing players anyhow, you know, I mean, unlike Chelsea, clubs are signing players. Um, that they really, really believe are going to make an addition to their team. Okay, is there anybody else that would like to say one or two things as we guys move? You're asking the next Osime. I don't like to call people the next um, whatever, but I mean, <clears throat> you never know. You never know. But it's interesting. I mean, he hasn't gone to Belgium yet. But let's see. If he goes to Belgium <laughs> after this German move, then, then maybe he can be the next Lucimer. But that's interesting. But, you know, we hope that he, he does very well in, in, in Germany. You know, when Osime went to Germany, he didn't have the best time. But we hope that's um, Cologne. And another thing, um, Tolu is going to join um, Kingsley Ehezibwe. Um, we have a Super Eagles player playing for FC Cologne already. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see um, another Nigerian with, with, the, with the club. That's, that's always nice for me. Um, personally, I just like seeing Nigerian players, you know, playing at the highest level, playing together, doing their thing. Shout out to Ladi, I see you. Thank you, thank you, Ladi, for joining. How are you doing? Thank you. Someone is asking what am I doing today after here on live. After here on live, I'm going back to work. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess this is work, but I'm going back to work after this. Um, yes. The work really never stops. I just wanted to come on live quickly to talk about this because I felt like it was an interesting move. Um, playing one season in Latvia and getting a move is, is certainly something to be proud of, um, whatever kind of move it is, especially to a move like the Bundesliga. Um, we have players that, I mean, no disrespect to anybody, but players have been playing for years and haven't gotten a move yet. So for him to get that kind of move in one season is really, really amazing and it's a credit to his, to his abilities and to the work that he's put in. So, you know, we have to give credit where it's due and we have to respect him for that. Official Omali, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. If there's no other callers, then we'll just wrap it up quickly. We'll wrap it up quickly. I want to ask you guys, um, how many goals um, do you think he's going to score? Um, I think he scored um, 16 goals in the Latvian League. Um, and I think 22 goals in all competitions. Um, in one full season and a few other games, you know, um, for Valmira. So how many goals do you guys think, you know, he's going to get in Germany? Um, considering it's going to be his first season playing at that level and he's on loan, um, just how many goals do you think, you know, he can get? Why do people send requests and then not accept when we call them? Eh? Boss, please check your inbox, sir. What did you send? What did you send? Seven to nine goals. 
seven to nine goals is certainly interesting and it's certainly achievable, you know. We focus with game time as well, you know. It's certainly achievable. The Bundesliga starts today. Um, he's probably not going to play this week. I mean, I don't imagine, unless he's ready, we hope. But then we see maybe from next week, you know, if he can get on the field or from their next game, their second fixture. If given the time to play, we believe he'll be getting 10 to 12 goals, but I hope for more, by the way. If given the time, he'll get 10 to 12 goals. 10 to 12 goals? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, but you hope for more. I mean, we always hope for more. We always hope for more. Germany is tough, but it will be good game time and all. Yeah, Germany is tough. Germany is tough. Like, really, I would say game time is the interesting factor there, you know, because you need to get on the field to actually show yourself. So that's the interesting factor there. If he's playing, you know, is is the kind of player that, you know, put him on the field and he'll score, at least from what we've seen so far. So it's like, as long as he's able to get that game time, then you believe that he'll produce. So low bang goals for sure. He has played in Germany before. Okay. Okay. 15 goals actually or something. 15 goals. He was at uh, uh, 15 to 20 goals. You people now are... <laughs> well, we hope for we hope for 15 to 20 goals, but I mean, I would say 15 to 20 goals would be like extremely impressive. 15 to 20 goals would be extremely impressive. That's not easy for anybody at any level. You know, that's not easy for anybody. So that would be impressive. I mean, we're talking about, I think, Jadon Sancho, I think, was 15 goals and 15 assists. I mean, so that kind of, I mean, we're not talking about the assist as well, but 15 goals is not easy, but we hope for. Um, I go with 11 to 16 goals, but anything can happen. He can do more or less, but we pray for a better and good season. Yeah. You know, um, anything can happen, of course. We just hope that he's able to show himself, you know. That's the, to me, that's the most important thing. Get a stage, show yourself, show what you can do. Um, if you have the ability, you know, people will notice you. Not going to lie, all leagues are tough. Game time is what all players need to show their potential. Yeah, game time is what Hello. all players need. Hello. Hi. Hello, good evening. Yes, yes good evening. Good. Jerry Jock, yeah. please, can you tell us yeah. where are you calling from? I'm coming from, from Lagos. From Lagos. Sorry, your volume is really low. I can't hear you. I'm calling from Lagos, from Lagos. You're calling from Lagos. Okay, nice, nice, nice to have you here. So, yes, we're talking to Lou Arokodari to FC Cologne. What do you think about the move? Yeah, so I've, I've been seeing a lot of people saying 11 goals, 16 goals. I really don't think it will come more than 5 goals. I mean, it's his first season, so I mean, the Bundesliga isn't so easy anyway. Sorry, your voice is really low. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it's the network. Can you hear me well now? It's, it's, still, it's still low. I'm trying to hear you. But go on, go on. So I was saying, I expect him to score maybe like five goals. Maybe. I don't think he will score more than five goals. Mm. And why is that? Because I mean, it's, it's, it's the Bundesliga, it's never that easy. Mm. I mean, for a starter, it's never that easy for a starter. So, yeah. I don't think, I, I'm saying people say 20 goals. I mean, it's not, it's not Lewandowski. So, <laughs> that. Yeah. No, I mean, I agree with yeah. you that it's never that easy. That's why when I saw somebody saying 15 to 20 goals, I said, ah, let's, let's hold on a little bit, you know. Because if he scores 15 to 20 goals, then that means like somebody big is going to sign him after after the after that exactly. season. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, that's what that just means. Like what happened to just like what happened to Osimhen. Yeah, like if he's, if he can score fifteen to twenty goals, ah, then after that he's going to I don't know somewhere bigger. You know, but we hope that I mean we, he can at least like I said, it's about getting the time to show yourself. And you know, even if you score, um, you can score six goals. And, you know, still in limited minutes, and people still see that, okay, this player is a player with a lot of potential, you know, and he's still really young. Mm -hmm. So, they, you know, somebody can sign him on again. He and then he, he can get put by, yeah. like, a bigger club. Yeah, exactly. And then he can get a permanent move, and then somewhere that he can settle down and actually develop and grow himself into a proper striker, you know. Yeah. Well, 
Okay. All right, all right. Thank you for your opinion. We appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So that was Jerry Jock. Jerry Jock said, you know, let's be optimistic, but realistically, he doesn't think he'll score more than five goals. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Man, a call up to the national team should be lining up. We're talking about, I mean, if we're talking about national team, I mean, we're talking about youth national team, I, I guess. Um, on a 20, on a 23s, potentially. I mean, if the scouts are paying attention, if they are seeing who's playing, even Boniface, Boniface 2 is another hot striker. Um, if he gets good link up with his players, I'm sure the goals will be more. No league is easy, let's be frank. Him playing in Latvia is not an easy league as well. Yeah, that's the thing I always tell people. You know, people look at... And whilst it's a big step up from Latvia to Germany, I mean, I, I, I would check. If you look at the um, UEFA ranking, I'm pretty sure it's at least jumping up like 15 places or something in the ranking for leagues, you know. But no, no way is easy. That's something that is, that is certain. And the rates at which he was scoring in Latvia, you know, it just shows that he was too good for that league, really. Because even the best strikers in any league don't score that kind of rate. So it shows that he was too good for that league. So even though, yeah, you, he, he's not going to score that same rate in Germany, you know, his ability is still going to show. And that's something that I believe. His ability is still show. One thing that I always say is that strikers, good strikers score goals. Good strikers score goals. Put them anywhere in the world. As long as the goal still has the same dimensions, the field is still grass or sand or whatever, you know, the person will score goals. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, good evening, good evening. Please, can you tell us your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, well, well, okay. Well, I guess you just called to say hello. Hello to you too. You guys were not stupid when you gave to the rookie of the year. Thank you for saying that. Yes, um, we did our research. You know, he was scoring a lot of goals that were unmissable. There was a lot of competition, but we thought that he stood out, you know. Um, and he won it, and now he got a move. I'm not going to lie, he has potential. So Latvia was a place for him to develop, and then we saw what he did there. Yeah, of course. And that's the thing, you know, Latvia was a place for him to get a platform to show himself, you know, and that's exactly what he did. He scored a lot of goals, too many goals in Latvia, and now he's getting a bigger platform, you know, to continue to show himself. I'm sure even Cologne don't think he's going to go to Germany and be the best striker there. But they know that he's a good striker with quality. And that's why they're taking a chance on him. You know? If he does, I mean, there's no way he will go to Cologne. He will shine really well and they won't want him, you know, to stay. I don't know if your network is bad, but your face isn't loading up. Okay, so happy Cologne got him now. So a loan deal to Cologne is a good step up, yes. And again, you never know, you know. Um, it could have been financial. It could have been anything that made Cologne not take, you know, permanent transfer. So you don't know exactly what happened. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay, guys, it's been 27 minutes. Um... Cologne is a good loan deal for him. Being there for the whole season will definitely push him to be a better player. Yeah, you know, just playing, training, um, being in and, um, you know, surrounded by top players, you know, better players, higher quality players is definitely something that makes you, you know, push yourself. And of course, I'm sure he knows that he's getting a challenge. You know, nobody needs to tell him that it's a challenge and it's a step up for him. I mean, he, he of course knows that. So he's going to definitely work harder. He's definitely going to push himself um, to become a much better player and to become, I like I always say, proper, proper striker. Different tactical mindset also. 
yeah, different tactical mindsets. Of course, I mean, I can imagine. I mean, I, I, I have not played in Latvia. I have not watched too much of the Latvian league, but I know that, of course, the German league is, you know, a different ball game entirely when it comes to the tactics, of course. Hello. Eagles Tracker. I'm so glad you guys have me here. Thank you very much for joining us. Please, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Festa. This is Shego Abijo. Thank you, thank you. How's 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 first of all how how are things over there in, in Festa? Things are, I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I just went through my phone this evening. I'm screaming like I just called him on phone. Now that he's a mad boy. He didn't tell me about this deal. Like I was going to Cologne. I'm talking about Tolu Aroko Yes. He's my boy. Like that is my guy. Like I can't die for him. Like he's always mm. abusing. I'm so <laughs> for him. I follow my head. Just talk about you. You didn't really follow the Latvian league. I used to watch it online, though. I used to watch his games, mm. everything. I go through your if, you, if anytime you guys comment about him or you drop his picture. I was the one that said you were not stupid when you gave him rookie of the year. Yeah, so, I know you were the one that said it too. Because he joined them late the first season and he scored like I think seven goals. Yeah. yeah. He was even lucky. He had, I, I think he had to do a surgery on both hands. And he was lucky because mm -hmm. of the coronavirus. And once they came back, he just started scoring all straight up. He just he kept on scoring. Well, I noticed that for a while now, like, two matches, he hasn't really played. just played a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah just played a few minutes, yeah. He told me in a tactical, in a tactical, like, when I now saw the news, I just went straight up to my WhatsApp and his Instagram. I was like, yeah, you know, why? those... You know those things. Um, for 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 me because I I follow um their games. You know, I always start to notice when I see those signs that okay somebody might be on the verge of a move or you know something like that. Because when you see, like, I mean, he was the one scoring all the goals, and uh, one day he's not even in the team sheet at all. Uh, the next day is he's playing yeah. for five minutes. Ah, uh, he's playing for five. Like, you know, okay, something is, you know, yeah, you know, rooting for him. Like, ah, what's up now? Because. Me, I'm always like, ah, yeah, I have to watch to lose match. Sometimes when he scores, I just mm. call him video call after the game. How far? Sometimes I might just be in like a place where they watch football and stuff. I'll be like, to lose my guy, people will be like, mm. Zila, I'm like, okay, don't worry. <laughs> I'll just okay. call him on video call. I'll be like, people are hollering at you. Yeah, you say, I was up, everybody, you know, I know. So I'm so glad. I just pray that he does so well in Cologne. I just yeah. sent him a message. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to go and look at Cologne again. Like, guy, Cologne is in first division. They are not even in division two. He's going to play against Lewandowski and Co. Like, I was screaming. That's right. it's, a, it's a big move. Big, big move. It's like, I should calm down. Everybody's sending me messages. I'm not disturbing. Everybody's sending me messages. <laughs> I'm like, guy, do well, do. <laughs> well, uh, no, do you see well? it's, it's, And it's something that, like I said, um, just from a broad perspective, for me, it's really exciting because from exactly. for for a player to move from Latvia to the German first Bundesliga, that's yes. that's what I said it's like a it's like jumping up at least I'm thinking like fifteen divisions. Oh, oh. That note, you know, same thing. You know why I dropped for him because just of that thought. You know why I said I I dropped to, uh, on his WhatsApp that guy, your career like play like plays as fast as Osimhen because I can remember Osimhen's career was just as fast as as in very quick like. Three season, boom, 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 boom. Lily, Napoli, and I'm like, I'm always well, I mean, And that's one thing that I always say. Um, strikers are lucky. Um, in the sense that you are the ones that score the goals, and goals are the most important part of the game. And so if are, you are a, I, I if you are a good striker, yes. and you score goals, people will notice you because that's your name is the one that is on the score sheet every day. Your name is the one that's on the headlines. That's so that's the good thing with, with um for strikers. And, and he's I, a good striker. I, you guys do a great job. I I've, I monitor you guys once in a week. I started monitoring you guys because of Tolu repost on his mm. Instagram. So I started seeing. I'm like, how do you people even do is that you If you know what I mean, like <laughs> I understand. Find players like how do you do it? I'm like, well, that's your name anyway. He goes track engines. So tracker engine. I'm like. You guys do a great job, man. Kudos to you guys. I got to go. I just wanted to... Thank you very much for calling in. Thank you. All right. Nice one, man. Big ups, man. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, guys. Thank you very much for everyone that's joined in. Thank you for all your opinions. We're now out of time. We're over the limit, actually. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to everybody. Unfortunately, I cannot take your request, um, Mansu, um, but thank you for wanting to share your opinion. Um, it's been a pleasure. My name is Ayotzi. This is Ego Striker Live. And we wish the best for Tolu Arokodari as he takes on his new adventure with FC Cologne in Germany. Have a good night, guys.